In this video I'm going to be discussing the Troy Industries 13 inch alpha battle rail with spring loaded front sight. This particular one is in black and this is the box that it ships in which is a nice uh, uh, retail type of box that's got uh, Troy's logo on it. Um, on the end we have the uh, information, Troy's address, uh, the, the model number which is STRX-AL1-13BT-00 and this particular one is in black. Uh, moving on to the inside, this is how um, this rail ships. Um, if you can't already notice, um, it uh, doesn't fully fit in this box and I believe uh, the logic behind that is this box is it's a uh, one box that Troy uses that fits all their different rails and they just add foam packaging to make up uh, for any space that might be left over. So you can see we've got um, foam pieces on either end of the rail and then we have some insert pieces down here to keep the foam and the rail from moving around in the box. So the rail is actually suspended off of the bottom of the box uh, so this foam creates a suspension system for the rail and this is a uh, very uh, excellent packaging um, it uh, doesn't add a lot of bulk to the packaging but it's a very uh, ingenious way to do it and uh, if you buy a, a single rail and it ships in a smaller box any impacts to the box would probably not be transferred over to the rail because the rail is actually suspended so good packaging um, on Troy's part with with the rail and and the box um, inside the box Let's get everything out okay so We'll just discuss what's inside the box here. So uh, first off, Alpha Battle Rail, small little instruction sheet for installing the battle rail, um, uh, adjusting the bolts and the tabs, and uh, how to get it lined up on your upper receiver. Um, fairly straightforward. Um, the next bag, uh, Ziploc bag, small Ziploc bag, uh, a Allen wrench, and these are the little tabs that lock on to your barrel nut, and the Allen bolts. Now one thing I'll note is there is no Loctite included with this package, and these bolts do not have Loctite on it. If I had to nitpick, um, I would say that these bolts should have some pre Loctite pre-installed before they ship. So if you're planning on installing one of these, make sure you have some blue Loctite on hand because you'll definitely want to put some on these bolts. Uh, the last Ziploc bag has got a Ziploc bag inside of it. And this one, I'm not going to take these contents out. Basically what we have is we have, in this bag I'm holding here, we have uh, three backing plates for these rails and the associated bolts. And there is an Allen wrench inside of that bag for these Allen bolts. Uh, these backing rails, I'll take one of them out just for... These backing rails uh, go on the back of the rail um, when you um, bolt this in place. So, and this particular long section of rail here has a uh, extra hole right there and that is for the addition of 
Um, I'm, let me think here. I'm trying to think if this needs, if this requires a socket for a QD disconnect. I believe the QD disconnect will go into this. You don't need a socket for it. So if you were using this rail, uh, you should be able to put a QD socket on there. Um, I do believe that's correct. So you've got one four inch and then a couple of two inch rail sections, the backing plates, all the associated bo bolts. Uh, again, on this little bag right here, these bolts also do not have any Loctite on them already. Um, so make sure you have some Loctite, some blue Loctite. Don't go with anything heavier than a blue Loctite. Make sure you have some blue Loctite handy before you start the installation of this. So this is the content of um, this package. Um, pretty much everything you need, uh, rails and wrenches, um, um, very good instructions. Uh, the only thing, like I mentioned, uh, is no, um, no thread locker or Loctite. <clears throat> so let's um, take a look at the rail a little bit closer and I'll talk about that. Okay, um, you'll have to excuse the uh, piece of foam on the end here. Um, if I set this down on the table, it just kind of rolls over. Uh, so the foam is basically just uh, here to, see, it just kind of rolls over on top of the rail. Um, so the foam I'm just kind of using just to, to hold this in place. Uh, this is the rear and this is the front, if you don't already know that. Um, the uh, I'll read some information about this rail. Uh, this site, uh, this rail is a successor to the successful TRX Extreme design. This new low profile mounting system locks directly onto the standard factory AR 15 um, barrel nut and offers unparalleled strength and stability. The larger circular cooling holes help disperse heat, allowing the rail to run cooler than other close to the barrel rail systems on the market. This model also features a built-in spring-loaded Troy front battle sight. When not in use, the sight folds us down to the same plane as the rail, allowing for a snag-free and sleek look, but springs into action with the push of a button. Like the original TRX Extreme Rails, the Alpha Battle Rails feature a full-length M1913 top rail with a modular mounting system for any additional required rails. The circular cooling holes will also accept the new squid grips. The rail comes with three small detachable rail segment, segments and all required mounting hardware. The Alpha Battle Rail is manufactured from 6061 T6 hardened aircraft grade aluminum and mill spec type 3 hard coat anodized in matte black. So to sum it up, this rail um, mounts directly to the factory AR-15 barrel nut. So there is no proprietary barrel nut necessary for this. Great idea, great design, great implementation. It's a one piece lightweight design and when I say lightweight it's 21 ounces. Um, because this is a modular rail system it saves weight and allows you to mount only the accessories you need. It also keeps a uh, small diameter of, of the rail section of the, uh, of the handguard. Uh, some rails that have uh, uh, Picatinny mounting running across the side and the top and the bottom it makes the rail a lot thicker thicker so it's, it's more difficult to grasp. With this thin design you can easily wrap your hand around it depending upon what kind of shooting style you implement. It's one of the features I like is, is it's a, a nice and thin close to the barrel I can wrap my hand around it real easy. It has the integrated flip up M4 battle sight and as you can see it right here, um, there is a push button release for it. You push the button, it pops up, and wow, look at that, it locks into place. If you've watched any of my other sight videos, you'll, you'll hear me complain about um, flip-up sights that don't lock into place when you flip them up. Uh, Troy has pretty much always made their battle sights uh, flip-up and lock-in-place sights. 
and this is no different. So this is a, 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 a very great, very good design. You can see the uh, front, it's got uh, an M4 type profile. Now this isn't a, a toolless design. Um, this does require a tool or um, you know you could use the tip of a bullet to push down on this pin to adjust the sight. So it's not a toolless design like some sights. But once you get this zero, uh, you wouldn't normally have to uh, monkey around with it. So, um, and if we push the button again, it'll go down and lock into place. And it's it's basically very flush, uh, out of the way. And ready to go at the push of a button. So very nice. All right, we'll uh, leave this profile on the, for the camera. Um, this rail is not compatible with rifle length gas systems. Uh, it is compatible with carbine and mid length gas systems. The round cooling holes uh, provide enhanced cooling and accessory mounting, and uh, that also means you can use the Troy squid grips. The squid grips, uh, I don't have any here, but they are uh, rubber inserts that go into the holes and provide a grippier surface for you to hold on to and it also moves your fingers away from the rail. So if the rail is starting to heat up from uh, extensive use, uh, the, the rubber squid grips kind of keep your fingers off of the metal. The um, this does not work with the TRX barrel nut or wrench, so they throw that in there as well. Made in the USA, of course, um, like all Troy products. And taking a look at this, we've got uh, the Troy logo right here on the side. The fit and finish of this is excellent. I've actually never taken one of these out of the box. It didn't virtually look perfect. Um, we've got, uh, looks like some laser etched T markings here, patent pending. This says part number TRX Alpha 13S, has a lot number. Uh, made in the USA, Alpha Battle Rail, Troy, and then the rest uh, going all the way up are just uh, T marks. And of course that won't stay. Um, on the back right here, uh, I'll cover this in another video. I'm going to go ahead and actually install this on a rifle, which I'll do a separate video for. But this is where um, the bolts and those little tabs go and then this slides over your barrel and of course you'll need a, a low profile gas block and it kind of twists up into place and then you tighten down these three uh, bolts and that securely holds this in place and creates a free floating uh, rail assembly um, I think this rail is a excellent buy for the money um, you have the low profile design and you only have rail sections where you need it and it comes with three sections so you can put uh, you know if you're doing a pistol grip or you're doing a flashlight and that's it you can put the two small two inch rail sections on it and all the rest of this is 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 empty so you're saving weight and you're not adding bulk that might make the rail difficult to hold on to if you use one of those c clamp type of uh, uh, grips on, on your, your rifle. The integration of the pop-up front sight I think is a great idea. Um, if you're going to buy backup sights front and rear, you're going to be spending $75 to $100 a piece for sights. So if you bought a rail and then you bought sights, um, let's just use a round figure of $100 for, for each site, so it'd be two hundred dollars for your backup sites. With this rail, you only need to buy a rear site because it comes with a front site integrated, and you can get this rail roughly 
in the ballpark of about $250. So if you take into consideration a it already comes with a front sight that you don't need to buy so that saves you a hundred bucks so in reality if you buy this on the street for 250 with the integrated sight minus a hundred dollars what did you really spend on the rail 150 bucks that um, that's that's a pretty good price for such a high quality rail um, of course if you hunt around you might be able to find better deals but I'm just throwing out the street price for the most part uh, and you the other thing that I really like about this rail is uh, the, the how light it is and the fact that you don't need a proprietary barrel nut now is a proprietary barrel nut the you know the end of the world well for, for me no I, I have all of the gunsmithing tools and the expertise to uh, uh, build rifles, take them apart, uh, service them, and so on. So it, it's not a big deal for me to take off a factory barrel nut and install a proprietary barrel nut. Uh, but it's, you know, uh, uh, an extra hassle for people who don't have those types of tools. You, they would have to go and, and pay somebody to do it. And there's extra cost associated to it. And frankly, in my opinion, you know, I know some manufacturers say that that their rails come with uh, replacement barrel nuts because the factory barrel nut on the rifle is not sufficient to hold, uh, a, a, you know, a rail like this. Um, I, I'm I'm not going to get into that type of philosophical debate. Uh, the the factory barrel nut on an AR-15 is is a hardened steel barrel nut. Um, I've used. Uh, rails like this that mount to the factory barrel nut for years and running gun scenarios and I've never had a problem so um, I'll just uh, I'll leave it at that um, so if you were to install this type of rail on your standard AR that has a, a front sight and an integrated gas block um, you would obviously have to remove your integrated sight and your gas block and you'd have to replace it with a low profile gas block and then you'd uh, you would also have to remove the delta ring assembly uh, off of your rifle um, and just leave the uh, barrel nut uh, on your rifle so there's there's lots of videos on YouTube on how you can do that you can do it on the cheap if you want to cut off your front sight, uh, the front sight post assembly, leaving the gas block assembly in place and grind it down and then cut off your delta ring. You can, you know, that's an option that I've seen people do. Uh, if, if it were me um, and I had a rifle like that and I was going to install this particular rail, I would get a low profile gas block and I would install a low profile gas block and I would remove the barrel nut and delta ring assembly and take the delta ring off of the barrel nut and reinstall it but that's just me. So if you have minimal tools uh, at, your, at your home you can still uh, modify your rifle and get this on. Um, I'm not going to cover those types of steps, other people have already done that. Um, so um, those are pretty much my talking points and my uh, opinion of this uh, rail assembly. Uh, I really like um, the integrated front sight. I currently on one of my rifles I have a 13 inch VTAC and that's the rifle I'm going to install this on. Um, and I also have a uh, quick detach uh, female mount that, that mounts on here um, made by Troy I'm going to install that as well so I can uh, have a sling mount up here um, in closing I think I've covered everything so this is the Troy Industries 13 inch alpha battle rail with integrated front locking flip up sight Stay tuned for the next video um, where I actually install this on one of my rifles.